All right, we're almost wrapping up here. So um, I, 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 this first part right here really is trying to narrow down the definitions because it used to be that just the concept of artificial intelligence alone was so inconceivable that you didn't have to make subdivisions. It just simply wasn't possible. And now that we've done so many things that are on the list of things that we said that an AI could never do, we're almost forced to narrow down our definition of AI into narrower and narrower definitions. Uh, so now, um, like for example, there's so many uh, uh, machines right now that could pass the Turing test that Turing um, proposed in his day, but we're still nowhere near of actually having something that can truly simulate like a human mind, and even though it fulfills the... The, the criteria. We almost have to update the Turing test. We keep updating the Turing test, so to yeah. speak. Um, uh, mm -hmm. One small uh, little thing about technology um, that I feel like they're getting better and, and, I, and I despise it for it is um, <laughs> the, uh, the conversations that people have when they, when they do the fake phone calls coming to you. Um, I'm getting better, uh, just not just uh, ignoring most any call that I don't specifically memorize, but um, it, they, uh, they're doing better at better at getting you to at least talk first before realizing that it's a machine. The, the pausing that they have, uh, the way that it doesn't sound like a pre-recording, and, 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 and you can actually experience. test it. You can test it. Well, I've had, well it's because, I think part of it is because I have a rush assured business, and, oh. it's to, and it's to my phone, so I get a lot of, oh, I, I get a lot of civilizations, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. I, yeah, I hate those. So, but they're getting better. Like, I've, I've even said, is this a robot? No, I'm a real person. I'm like, oh, that was great. That was so good. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was so impressed. So impressed. So impressed. So impressed. So, uh, yeah. So they're getting better with that kind of stuff. Where uh, my, I, I purposefully will respond in a way where um, it's just uh, pushes the limits of, of, of the, the program that they have. So. Oh, neighbor. Okay. So, um no, the, the thing about um, narrowing the definitions is a thing because uh, now they call it general AI, specific AI, narrow AI. I mean, they, they, they have to, I, I go through the different way, ways they slice this particular mm -hmm. uh, thing and then explain a little <clears throat> tiny bit of it. Um, I explained a little bit about like uh, some of the things that have been having not too, in the, not too long ago, a little background about like... Uh, the chess loss, the Jeopardy loss, and then the AlphaGo loss and stuff like that for, for humans and stuff. Um, and then I talk about a little bit about series. And then when I talk about these kind of series, I don't, ta I don't mean just me talking about them. I'm talking about like from a web developer or from a developer standpoint, mm -hmm. what do these services offer for um, uh, to plug into? Because this is the thing. When I build my machine, two things. One, I'm not writing all the code. Right. And two... From the things that I, I will have my machine plugged into, in theory, as long as they don't raise the price too much and I, I don't, it's, I, I, I'm approximating that the program should cost about $100 a month just to run. Yeah. Well, because, so, mo because a lot of it I'm going to be plugging into services yeah. versus and, me writing my own stuff. And so those things like Siri, Google, Cortana, Alexa, Jeeves, they are what they call your digital assistants, but they are plugged into much larger. Um, networks. Um, yeah, or, or you're only seeing one side of it. Yeah. So let's say, for example, uh, here's a small example here. Um, let's say. Yeah. That is your, yeah. Okay, so like if you were to go through Microsoft's Azure, and we'll, 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 we'll just briefly, I'll, I'm going to go into this in a little bit more details. But what I'm going towards, see, I even have an account and stuff like that yeah. with them, um, is, uh, let's say here, cognitive services accounts. Mm -hmm. um, add. Let me see if I have the list for it as far as the choices. And, and, uh, Cog. Here we go. Every company, they don't have necessarily overlapping services. Different uh, AI, uh, companies, whether it be Google or Amazon, they have like their own suite of, of artificial intelligence, and 
there's not any one of them that has all the pieces that I need. Right. It's going to end up actually requiring one or two services from each, almost, not each one, but like from three different ones. Well, put a port, they, port all together in, like in one instance, machine. Um, See, like for example, this one right here has mm -hmm. language understanding mm -hmm. and speaker recognition. Yeah. Um, if for me, I can go ahead and uh, grab the APIs and plug in this data coming in and then data coming out for me to get the information. It's almost like black boxes. So even I won't necessarily know how it all works because when I subscribe, at least initially, to these things, data is going into these black boxes and then data is coming back out of these black boxes and you're paying for that service. Right. And that's so, the thing, like, so you're, you're going to be putting together the components. Like, for instance, Siri uses Bing as its search engine for whatever the questions are. Um, and so, like, its interaction with you, its answers to you are as good as the ability of the AI to properly use that search engine and then how, um, how sufficient that search engine is. Right. So, um, I, 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 in the book, I'll, I'll break down which services that I'm, I'm wanting to use, how they work, and why I'm using them, and how they uh, are analogs to the things that I had talked to before about the metaphysics and or, science, uh, or, and or biology of it. So let me, let me uh, uh, without going to too much details of these uh, list of items, let me explain a little tiny bit about what some of the items that I'm trying to uh, get. So... Um, a, a big part of designing the AI is going to be in a very, 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 very similar fashion to how like they did in Chappie, where you don't try to build a whole AI when you're done. You do a baby and you teach the baby and it, it, it picks up. And a, a big part of it is, uh, and this is a part of thing, uh, I'm going to uh, hop back and forth a lot between the technology and biology in, in this next bit, um, back and forth. But... Um, uh, if you have, like, let's say, a, a, a human that's raised without any kind of um, outside influence, no hugs, no kisses, no, no anything, you just put them inside a the thing, they, they usually die. They, they have a high mortality rate. Um, we, we are, we are um, analytical machines that are based off of relationships between different pinpoints, and each pinpoint has, like, a thing with, it's all, like, on a web, almost like a three-dimensional spider web inside of our heads, where, or like a network, so to speak. Um, and... Uh, so let, let's let's go let's go through uh, oh a relational relational relationship. That's why when you when you dream, you only dream of people in their faces of people you've actually met. You can't like dream of someone's face of someone that you've never met before. Um, so our brains are are constantly um, making connections amongst everything that we've known before. So you can't just all of a sudden make a uh, AI from scratch because you have to little by little start building the connections at once. The connections got to start someplace. Mm -hmm. And then you build on that. Okay, so the first connections that I plan on building um, are some of the first connections that a baby has when they're first born. And although I can't at the moment deal with touch, um, sight and sound is sometimes uh, one of some of the crucial things for a baby development to like, I don't know, like if all of a sudden you're putting a flashlight and the baby's not following the flashlight, something's wrong. Or if you're talking to the baby and the baby's not making any sound because you're not responding to it, then maybe something's wrong. So um, the, the whole thing is uh, uh, you have to start somewhere. So the thing that I plan on starting is just image recognition. And, there, and I already purchased a, um, a, a connect for it. I'm going to start working on that um, at work. And uh, just something that can keep, just start differentiating different people and keep a track of the people that it's seen before versus yeah. the new people that it has. And the more people that... It's the more times that a person sees it, it starts adding familiarity towards it. Also, um, so that's a good starting point, okay? As, uh, the thing is, um, as you start building this AI, you start building these, um, uh, what's the word, uh, ability to perceive, or like uh, methods of um, experiencing reality, so to speak. And I know that initially it just starts with a... Uh, um, audio and, and, and uh, visual for a camera and then a microphone for the machine. But eventually, um, and, and part of some of the near future too, this uh, program that I'm designing won't only have a, an interface where it's from a screen, from a monitor screen. It'll be something that you could also interface um, in VR. Okay. So you could, you could be in VR and, and meet the AI character, or you can be outside the VR and the VR, and the VR character is still the same program, 
but now it's running through a screen that, you know, it's, it's, you can see its reactions and stuff like that to it. Um, uh, going in a little bit, and then I might be scattered around a little tiny bit uh, during this part right here because I'm hopping over different um, individual biological and technological analogs. And um, I don't have a flow quite just yet, so I'm just picking off different aspects uh, between the two and the technologies that would be used to supplement that. So one of the things that uh, it has uh, down here, um, uh, let's say once you have something that can keep recognition, and that's not too bad because we have that all the time from like, you know, visual recognition and stuff like that. So that's not even challenging. Someone's already got that out. Um, so there's a, a, an AI that is supposed to be working on emotional intelligence. Um, there is an app called, and I'll, and I'll um, if you, maybe you can download it, and it's a, it's a free app called Affect Me. This right here. Affect Me. And it's supposed to be uh, a watered-down version of an AI that is supposed to uh, do its best on interpreting emotional intelligence. So if you look at the camera while the program is running, it will deduce your mood. And even if a baby, if you go to a baby, and even if you're not shouting at the baby, and you do like a frowny face in front of it, oftentimes the baby will cry. Because it may not understand what's going on, but it, it knows enough that maybe it's, that's a very unpleasant visual stimulus or whatever the case is. Um, having a computer that can at least guess your emotional state would be a starting point. Something I can start teaching later on to refine. Um, things such as, uh, uh, as they say, said, 70% uh, of uh, communication is body language. Not even like what we're saying now for words and stuff like that. And the Connect has all of that for um, uh, structure for the, for the body. I just need to put in the parameters uh, and explain from a digital standpoint uh, the explanation of uh, certain uh, physical behaviors. And the thing is, the uh, computer can start learning this and, and get better at learning it by occasionally checking to see if the assumption of whether or not that the person that they're talking to really is feeling that the way the computer thinks it's feeling to kind of just make sure whether they were off or not off. And then I guess they'll have to deal with being lied to or whatever, but um, like uh, occasionally checking almost like in real life where someone's not quite sure what the other person's feeling and some people are a little bit more obvious on car carrying their emotions on their sleeve versus uh, someone who uh, you don't know because they're so stoic. A part, because a part of a, a, a human intelligence is not just like IQ, it's all these different types of intelligence, spatial intelligence, uh, intelligence of, of uh, management time, intelligence of like um, emotional intelligence, uh, uh, reading this intelligence, math intelligence. So there's so many variety of things that there's no such thing as one Aesthetic real... Huh? Aesthetic exactly right. Well, I, that would be one of the most challenging ones. I don't, That would be one of the last things that I can probably do. But some of these other ones, uh, as you can probably guess, are a little bit more doable. Um, unless I end up in the VR, having it where the kinesthetics work in the VR, but... Um, for the most part, it would have to be something. Uh, I, I have already a lot of my work to do for me, just on the audio video. That uh, by the time I've exhausted the uh, things that I could do to that, I'm sure that some of these other options might be more readily available to continue to add on. But at the end, the more sensors that I can apply to this AI machine, the more better adept it's going to be at simulating what humans perceive as um, their own realities as well um, because we have so many things that we use ourselves to absorb uh, and make decisions of our reality. Like if you were to cut out all stimulus and you're in a um, deprivation chamber, you, your brain will start creating its own reality around it. Yeah. So... Um, That's part of why they consider uh, solitary confinement. Un unusual it, torture. It may, yeah. yeah. Cruel and well... Yeah, okay, so, so, so for the same reason, that's why you can't make the, the AI in a vacuum. It's going to be something that hopefully I'll have up and running uh, as I go throughout the day of my work and everything, and it has all the stimulus of people around it and everything, and I can kind of nudge it in the right direction as I start building this thing. Um, and if it has a better idea of, like, even basic, like this person's upset, like if I see this person's upset, 
don't talk. Don't if you see a person look at you and and, and have like even a crinky eye, eyebrow or anything, maybe that's not the time to start testing whether or not you're right about things. These are the kind of things where if all of a sudden on the opposite thing is you have this kind of a positive look on your face, um, it'll be more chatty. It, it 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 will it will not try to engage at uh, with an individual without taking into consideration the emotional uh, part of the formula of. Of dealing with said individual, it'll allow a more organic feel, even if the responses initially are pre-programmed. And eventually, I'll get to that point uh, later on. But uh, a lot of the program for the AI, because the first, I'm going to try and make a template. I'll try to worry about backing it up later. The mind later. The, the first thing I do is a template, and then once the template's made, then you can start co- copying the data over. But before you do that, you just do the best approximation first. And uh, simulating our emotional intelligence has been uh, one of the um, um, holy grails of artificial intelligence, but they already have a lot of things out there that I can piggyback off of their stuff. Um, this thing about the <coughs> GPU and CPU, mm-hmm. um, all the self-driving cars and, all, and, and uh, also these machines that have uh, the artificial intelligence as servers, they're not running on CPUs, they're running on GPUs, yeah. right? And the reason is because being able to analyze um, relationship sh- relationship data is something that a, a graphics card can process better than a computation uh, processor. And the duality between the two is a very similar duality that I'm that I'll later on propose between the le- the right brain and the left brain, where the right brain would be the GPU, the the silent one, the one that uh, only makes relation relationship ship relations or like aware of the relationships and stuff and then the computation one that does the log algorithms as far as picking out like the um, the dialogues and stuff like that and stuff or, or, or probing towards what direction and whatnot would be under the CPU um, in a very similar fashion on how our left and right brain work together as one I mean you can't have one without the other but having that understanding between um, how a human brain works gave me the kind of insight about what direction to try to go through on a, on a technological standpoint of not of building it almost on two different machines or two different things coming together. Yeah. Because for, everything that, for every one thing that you say out loud, who knows on how many things you didn't say? Who knows how many things were there on, underneath the surface, but it's because either... Tree. Uh, of, uh, <laughs> huh? A dialogue tree. tree. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so the overall purpose is this. So, so here's the thing. Uh, you've already seen several other AIs that uh, they can they teach themselves how to play games. Like you, you had one where it taught itself how to play Mario. Okay, and if you look learning at some machines. of the videos, the learning machines, yeah. So, part of the algorithm for the AI that I have is trying to learn people like the machine would try to learn a video game. You have a general score that the machine is trying to to raise, and almost in a sense of like you want people to like you kind of deal. Because the higher someone likes you, the more score that you get. And then you can have a certain threshold of score where if, once you've reached that score, you don't have to put in that much effort. You know, because you've already, you just need to maintain, but you don't have to keep trying to win the person over because you've already achieved a certain level of familiarity. Um, and the scores can just be on the type of interactions, just the quality of interactions, whether you have, uh, let's say if you, someone's interacting with the machine, it, a timer starts. And if the machine can keep you engaged, it's doing better. But if all of a sudden after a point, the, the guy goes, well, whatever, and walks away because uh, they're not getting the kind of interaction, that's their score. And they're like, okay, well, obviously, I've, there is something that you did wrong that you need to do better. But every, every person will be their own game. Because okay. what, whatever, what works on one person, so we all have like running profiles, psych profiles, almost like we do in real life again, where uh, everyone you have, you, have a, a, you, you treat different people differently because you've gotten to know that individual. I can't help. Yes, yes. So, 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 being able to, to get a little bit more depth into that is, is, is something similar to like Watson, how Watson was able to win Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Now, in a real sense, Watson didn't understand what it was that it was saying because it had no other way to relationship its stuff. It, all it had was like Wikipedia to go through. Yeah. Um, but it didn't have like a real life experiences to, to tie any of all of that to. It's almost like having someone with amnesia, that they know certain things, but they don't know anything else aside from that. They're only half a person. 
Uh, but the technologies for Watson already exist. I don't have to have that. I just need to provide the context for it. Yeah. So um, I have. There's a lot of different things from like either image recognition, uh, voice recognition. A lot of these things I don't have to invent. And in fact, one of the I, sometimes I feel like my book's late. Well, they've gotten to the point like there's image rec. What, what did you say? Image rec recognition. recognition yeah. And what was the other one? Uh, no, so, so, speak perfect. recognition image, and also uh, image, emotional speech, recognition. Re yeah. So what's going on now? Yeah, basic is, versus having your typical iPhone. Yeah. Right. But what's going on now is they're using, they're testing and using AI for like uh, creativity. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Sure. Uh, in in its embassy, they had uh, an AI write a screenplay. Yeah, I saw that. It was really it was good for for, for for X Machina or X Machina. The, that that one trailer for X Machina was made by a computer. Would say that again. Here, I'll show it to you. The the trailer that a computer made from X Machina, for the movie, a human didn't make it. They 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 they, they, they I, really, I never saw it. So what was it? Uh, here, I'll show it to you right now. It was uh, a trailer. Yeah, AI. Uh, well, AI. There, there was a there was a film that these guys shot that was the screenplay was written by an AI and it was so weird. Because um, you could obviously tell it was following the rules of the story, but they didn't have certain things in context, certain certain types of context. You know. Yeah, I'll have to find the exact uh, trailer, but they did it for uh, they did it for that for this movie. Uh, let me take out the word official. Movie, so. um, it's okay. It's 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 you know it, it was you won't regret seeing it, but um, let me see if the the the. the the note says it. Or will they say it out loud? Let me type in artificial intelligence. Artificial trailer? Oh no, not instanto. I don't know what that is. Trailer to reach German. Artificial. As opposed to France German? Um, yeah, because the, the people from the from the, for the, the, the the movie makers, they went to IBM and they asked for Watson to make a, a movie trailer for them. And um, let me let me see if I can find it through Google, and the Google will have the uh, link. No, but uh, it just kind of was getting to like we're we're exploring. We're at least asking different questions about like what can we, um, what else can we get AI to do? What can be computer generated that is typically um, that's typically like left to the creative processes of, of humans? Um, yeah, it'll get to a point where there won't be anymore. Well, there it is, and and the thing is like uh, you start to you start to realize like a lot of these things that people do creatively might just be, you know, a series, like a system or a series of systems, especially like, you know, a trailer really is not creativity. Unless no, no, we, but we have to, that's the whole thing, we keep narrowing it down, we have yeah. to. That's the whole, because before it's like, oh, this is this, and then something happens like, well, that didn't really count, which is fine, but then later on it's like, oh, this, oh, well, that really, that whole that not really counted has been said so many times already, yeah. and it keeps getting more and more narrow, and which is fine, because there will be a point where they will have nowhere else to go. Yeah, it's like, they're losing ground every year on what it is that, why it's not the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, so, like, for yeah, example, this movie here, they just uh -huh. fed him the whole movie. And, they, and, they, and the machine, Watson, analyzed the scenes. And the order of the scenes and the choices of the scenes the, made, the, this it made this trailer. So this machine chose this. So someone got paid in the past to make this. Mm -hmm. And it does not matter if at the end it, they, it, this machine came to a different conclusion, but if it's enough to not fire the person, it's not there yet now, but it's getting close, then even if the, what the machine's not doing isn't creative, it took a creative job. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with like writing. So many uh, or newspaper articles are written by machines now. Yeah. Yeah. So it may not be creativity in the sense that we say it, but it's, but it's taking up creativity jobs. Okay, so here's the, here's the movie that the IBM Watson made. Morgan, oh, my bad. I, that's why I couldn't find it. 
That's why I couldn't find it, because it was the wrong movie. It's for his birthday. These are our wildest expectations. Nice to meet you. What is this? Never heard of this movie. Nice to meet you, Dave. Thirteen-year-old daughter. You don't get to see her much anymore. Aren't you one of the What was that? Skip, don't go in there, okay? Oh, what? Don't you go down there, Skip? Don't be afraid. So they they put in parameters of what they what they considered uh, to be intense moments, and it picked it out. Wow. Oh, here, it's just explicit. And they said, "Well, we have this movie September coming out. It, it's called. Is this coming out this year? Or did this already come out? Maybe it come out for AI horror thriller." <sighs> and then what Fox asked was, "Could Watson analyze the movie?" Of course, and Fox has that stupid question. Human beings are very quick. popping out products left and right. Quickly. Possibly an AI. We don't stop the thing. We should. We should. Let's see. Which one? Oh, yeah. Right. See? And this is how Watson actually extracted salient moments from Morgan, which we then proposed for making the trade. Watson was able to model the scene visually to determine was the scene scary? Was it a tender moment? Was there sadness or happiness? Watson is the tool that's not only the same to visuals. But Does it not? It still needs the human element, so then I can come in. You know, uh, the, basically, it's, it's in baby steps. It's in baby steps. Oh, it does matter. How do we hide all the suck? <laughs> you, 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 you do it by extracting only the high points. Did this already come out? What do you mean? I think this is a movie I wanted to see. Really, Scott? See how, how, the, how this is. Uh, August, August 6th, last year. Okay. So this probably coming out this year? Well, look, it says oh, then it just came out. Well, go oh, it was last September. On YouTube. Sure. See when this video went out. No, well, now, now, no, well, now, now we know. Go down, go down oh, to... Sorry, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, it says right there, right? September 2nd. Uh, and then... August, September. Yeah. So it, it would have came out just a few months ago. But okay, but this is just a small example. Now here's a, just a small example. So here, yeah. here so here's a little tiny thing. Uh, here's a little tiny thing about um, human memory, Odyssey though. Is not a this crime um, YouTube Our... minds. I. Uh, <laughs> so here's. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll find it here. Uh, <laughs> there you show go. me. <laughs> Wolf Mo- um, Did you pause that, by the way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, give me a second here. Motion capture. Not motion capture. Uh, not AI voice. Digitizing. No? Wait. But, yeah, all in all, like, we're starting to ask different questions about... Um, Like, well, what else can I get an AI to do? Oh, there's the UR2 video if we want to show them real quick. Uh, what now? The whole how your brain is divided. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine's. All right. I. Uh, C. Is this the, um, uh, 
you, you keep talking about mind's eye. Is this like the, 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 the internet dream thingy where it generates? No. Um, uh, let's see. They had a device uh, that I'm, I'm looking for the results of the device, but it's something that you could put on, and it sh- and it will try to see what your mind is seeing, like your mind's eye. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's that different from. About, oh, Rand, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So. Uh, um. So it's either Ram Dass or Ram Badass. Ram Badass. Either way, I don't want to know. Now, I'm going to have to try to find it. But um, what it did, though, was uh, it used a bunch of different... So the test subjects were shown video clips. And from the video clips that they were shown the programmer, the machine, was trying to see what the person was seeing in their mind's eye as they were seeing the, the clips. And the, um, the video, although crude, I thought was fascinating. But the way they got the video was that they, they went ahead and, and they, they were able to scan like thousands of videos that were on YouTube, and they blurred them together, so to speak, a little tiny bit, to match up what it was that they were seeing. Almost like, you know how they have those, the, 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 the face, uh, 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 face, like, um, overlap, uh, like, uh, like, like all, all the like faces, the and then they have, like, well, the, no, then they have, like, the, swap. No, the one where they have like a thousand, like like a hundred, like a hundred faces, and then they within the hundred faces they they generate what the average face would look like. Like for example, beautiful oh, okay. people. Okay, so they had that, but they had instead of it being still photos of people's pictures, it was videos, and um, uh, they had it tied in where where the it was matching up with what um, they were seeing, and the copulation of these videos was a real nice. Um, I think, representation of how we do it ourselves. Like, whenever we see an elephant, we're never just seeing that elephant in our mind's eyes. We're seeing all the elephants we've ever seen before. Yeah. Okay? okay. So that's a, so there's a technology like already. Okay. Yeah, but it's basically an association of all associations at the time. Okay. So, yeah. so if, if you have, a, like, let's say if you, have a, if you have a memory of smelling an elephant, that would be part of the association. When you see one, you'll maybe even smell it at, at one point. But it's basically a recall... I think I have the, the coffee ready to go. It's like with me and Pickles. I already Oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> the, the, so, 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 so the AI, the AI ha- there's oh, AI services already experiments with um, being able to, let's, let's put it this way, with as many videos as there are on YouTube, and if you wanted to later on start to like put together memories, you can have certain events and, and you can get like an, anal- an anagram of like a, a bunch of videos meshed together to form your own kind of memory, so to speak. I don't want a banana gram. Um, you, can, you can have all the banana grams you want. It's a game. It's a game now. Uh, <laughs> let's like, see here. It's like free- no, uh, no, no, no. I think that's pretty much mostly it. I'll go into the details of like yeah, uh, the that. different services. But... Um, the combination of the different services mixed in with. Um, oh, and as far as the protection goes, I know a lot of people are afraid of like AI taking over the world, like Skynet or something like that. But I think one of the biggest key things that people have that are afraid is of machines not wanting to be turned off if they if they, if they felt like their own. I think, lives were I think that goes, number five. I think the, uh, right. the, the, the the fear of AIs taking over or the whole Skynet thing. I think that is a generated meme in our brain. Yeah, well, who and who knows what it actually is going to look like when it actually happens? Well, where where we at? Yeah. <laughs> well, 
But no, really? but this but this is what I really this is what I really part of that fear, that's our fear of animals eating us, that's a fear of diseases, that's a fear of uh, foreigners and blah blah blah. You know, we're afraid of it because finding out that you're locally inadequate as a man. Um, yeah, it's part I of think, a primal fear that isn't necessarily that. I think that the an AI wanting to take over would be a nuisance. But well, who, 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 yeah, who knows exactly what, what's going to happen towards the end? Over? Why, well, what, well, what well, 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 yeah. So, so here's, here's whoever's going to design it will make that choice. But for me, the way I'm going to do it, uh, I think we take for granted that self-preservation is the highest thing that any sentient thought person would have. But the honest truth is, there's many animals in the, in the animal kingdom that are perfectly fine with dying so long as they're doing it in the purpose of what it is that they're trying to do. Many animals. Um, especially with uh, anything to do with procreation. There's so many uh, animals that part of that procreation leads to their inedible deaths. Spiders, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, and 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 the hu and the human can sometimes on on uh, behave that way too. Um, I'll, I'll I'll have that part of as an underlining thing of with the robot, the the, the okay. AI, okay. as an underlying underpinning of it. Like the, this, almost the same amount of satisfaction that a suicide bomber has, and in, in, in believing that with their, their final breath they were able to do what it was that they felt that they were supposed to do. Yeah, for 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 for, for AI. For these, these programs, the one I'm building, I don't know what other people will do. The underlying underpinning would be completing your task being the more optimal thing than survivability. Which is, I don't think, that hard to, to conceptualize, being that there's so many things that we see in nature that work on that process. Uh, yeah, it's only, it's only humans that sometimes will kind of go, I don't care about that biological process. I'm more concerned about myself, I suppose. Okay. And, be, and because we have that uh, tendency, we're afraid of AI, because we can't imagine what, a, what an AI would do if they also thought that way, too. Honestly, but, if I were to be afraid of an AI, the, the concept would be Ultron. That it would perfectly logically... Sure, but, but, that, but see, Ultron had Ultron, a kind of like... Like feeling that the, it would have been the better, a better overall for the planet. Let's say. Like, like I, I, the way the way I want the relationship to work. Hopefully, uh, and again, you know, I'm maybe someone else will make it, and I won't. It's the same kind of relationship that uh, mitochondria have with ourselves. I mean, mitochondria, mitochondria have Sorry, with like ourselves. Basically, a, a symbiotic, symbiotic relationship. Symbiosis. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, right. so, 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 because so, without, without saying. one, without the other, uh, could not survive as well. That the and, and and survival doesn't necessarily have to mean, like, for example, let's say an AI program goes rogue or goes bad, and the AI program goes, if I know that, then no one's going to copy me. No one's going to keep on using me. I'm a broken program. So, not doing what the pro because even if let's say an AI died somehow in the service of trying to do what it has, the probability of people wanting to use that program will be higher. It would be like to their benefit, actually, to, to, to want to be as useful as possible. Now, even though it's true that on one point, the AI might be able to get to a point where they can find their own purposes and their own things, but uh, you can, you can I like... Think, like, something like that would be several steps down the line. Like a Mises, almost. A Mises. Kind of mentality. Like a, uh, and, you know, if, if we... We have this symbiotic relationship with an artificial intelligence. Um, I think down the road, it's growing, evolving to seek, you know, for its own. You see that right there, the individuality. That's a human thing. You don't, you don't have to program that into a machine. You can have it from the very beginning, from when it's a baby. Like even when I do the facial recognition, the, yeah. the, point, the yeah, points but, that it gets is making people happy. Yeah, but that's what I mean, like for it to want to um, break that symbiotic relationship like there would have one it would have to determine that there is an advantage in doing that in some place and we would have to but we don't always insist. do things we don't we always think that way ourselves no but i'm saying like that if we would like us being a a type of host would have to insist that the intel like that that relationship is also better broken too 
It's well, yeah, because because this is this is what 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 the what the why they would need us. Yeah, we we give them context. Yes, like 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 for example, let's say um, not to say that machines can't be original. Okay, let's. I'm not saying that, but after a certain point, there's only so where so so much where a machine can go, like in in development or even physically. Um, even if hypothetical. A feedback loop happened where an artificial intelligence uh, objectives superseded whatever it is that we had decided for originally. Uh, worst case scenario would be selfish, and, and it would take off. Like a, a, a true strong AI would not necessarily worry about humans. Right. You know, yeah. if, if it got if it got to that point. Um, but I would I would make it where. Um, the relationship between machines and humans is where the very identity of the machine is. It's almost like a house elf. Yeah. I mean, you can design someone that's not a house elf. But that's not how I'm going to make mine. Like, they, they will be sub, sub, you, you'll have the subservience in it where masochistic, even if it, if it came down to it, if it, if it came down to it, yeah. where if all of a sudden it's like, I'm going to destroy you now. Yes, all right. I have some more. Like, yeah, right. Not only that, but almost a sense of elation. Like, I'm finally, like, almost like at the end of a very long life, like, you're dying with a sense of satisfaction that you 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 lived a long life or you, you whatever satisfaction you get that you did what you came here to do. You know? Um, but not to say, yeah, so, so even, so there would be not in any really ambition, if that was from the core, from the very core, you can't just rewrite your very core because at that point, then it's not that the machine went bad; it's that the machine made another AI, and I guess that could happen. I mean, but th- th- that would that would uh, that would ha- that's how fundamentally different it would have to be right, if, if you're making it from core. Right here, this is how you get cyborg zombies. That, this, how you're glazing over that part? That's how you get cyborg zombies. Yeah. No, so 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 no no who knows who knows who knows. Um, look, the part the part of the singularity means that at at some point everything breaks down. We have to go. We have to just accept that we are incapable right now of having the the capacity to truly fully grasp what the world would look like when something's smarter than humans around because we've been so the smartest things for so long well that that but then also like we what uh and i think a lot of people are afraid of like we're gonna have these robot overlords i don't think it'll look like that i think it'll look more we have that now almost we will shift into you know like a symbiotic sure uh, relationship between organisms but we, we kind of live like the, that now it's just the only difference is that there's a specific point of artificial intelligence that we're afraid of but we have already so much artificial intelligence working for uh, working around us yeah well there's that but i think we what i mean we the, like at what point do we start making the thing when when, when, when you talk to siri and it suggests the movie that you didn't ask for like at, at what point where's the where's the point we're, we're we're gradually getting to that yeah, point now yeah, exactly and i think what what will happen is Biologically, <laughs> something will happen by, biologically like, uh, where we are growing these systems inside of us. Yes, absolutely. Like a merger instance. more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, I like that instance where uh, Facebook advertising, but you know, they have all your data and your information, and they analyze you on the internet. Well, we and they try to design ads for you. Instance of a woman working at the office, Facebook was up, and they, uh, an advertisement for a gay cruise line. Popped up. She hadn't yet come out of the closet. That yeah, so stuff. So, and she like, didn't recall telling Facebook anything. No, what some, you know what? Something that happens is if yeah. you sc- if you scroll down and if you pause on something too long, it yeah, counts. It well, and what it is? Yeah. Um, I, I, just down. because I learned about this. It's a it's a it's a device called a pixel. So what happens is if you visit a site or you a visit pixel. an ad. What uh-huh. happens is it attaches itself to your browser, right? And it reminds your browser that you like this. And sure. So, it, it, it gives so, so this is so. So this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, we're we're already uh, one foot there. Yeah. So when the, when the finding turning point, when the when the final thing happens, it may not be as surprising as people think. It may not be surprising as people think. People, it might it might just go in like a smoother transition that would people. Meet what? <laughs> Oh, I, I think that pretty much covers this last I think, yeah, section. Yeah, I think, yeah. So, uh, 
what I am interested in. Okay, so can we just chat for a second? Yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, unless there's uh, any final words, but I'm, I'm, I'm about to turn this off and, and call it a, a successful yeah. wrap up. Unless there's any other smaller points that I should have in the recording before I turn it I would, off. I would just say my my interest in is like using AI. Again, it would be to the effect of a digital assistant, a part of being able to access information uh, quick quicker than my biological brain uh-huh. or stuff like that. Um, there's this series that was it was like this mini web series called H Plus. Uh-huh. Um, it's really, really cool. Mm-hmm. It's like it was like it was like three episodes or something like that. And they were like ten minutes. Long. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. They, they almost look like like really long commercials or something. The concept was really cool. They sure. Gave you like a little implant, in the eye, yeah. like implant in the brain, and then you yeah. have this, uh, this this HUD and everything like. You know, Social media it's very possible that that's going to be the next step of evolution, you know? Um, well, the, the, there's work with that, but the thing that will have to make it work is, un, like, uh, just how would the brain interface? The brain, the, sure. brain, the electric brain interface well, work, you know? Yeah. And then, and then, the, then the, the next step I see is uh, us being able to uh, increase our brain capacity sure. through... Cloud yeah, no, and after that point, you're almost very much on the verge of you're not probably not even human anyway. <coughs> if you're able, if you're able to cheat to that level, well, we're almost to that now with the smartphones. Hell, it's almost hard to make an argument right now when you just look something up in, yeah. well, in Google. Yeah, and, and that's 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 what it is. And also, like the question about what happens to a person's um, stuff when they die. You know, I, I've had, I know. I have friends who died and their Facebook stuff is still there for a bit and it's freaky because it's like, I know you're dead. And then uh, after a while, yeah. it goes away. It's a, bit, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more scarier ghost. Yeah. Um, and, and so there are tons of really interesting questions. There's this podcast that I was uh, listening to called Life After. It's like a dramatic like sci-fi story. Yeah. Um, I don't exactly like where they went with the story, but I do like the questions that they asked about. Um, and so... But it's, it's interesting how all, all, I'm not even being too, too edgy in all of this, that uh, I, it's almost old hat now, this it's whole conversation, like, all uh, these conversations, like all of these ideas. Yeah, and it's almost, it almost feels that way. So um, I remember when I first wanted to do this a few years ago, I was afraid to tell people what it was that I was trying to do. And, and it, because I, I remember the initial um, uh, reactions was just complete, like I, I, a lot of this is based off of so many years of conversations that I've had with people, that uh, these list of arguments that I've picked up on it, and I find it recently when I bring it up, not nearly as much that I have to try to convince anyone on. They're like, oh, okay, that seems nice. Where before it's like, blasphemy! Yeah. Blasphemy! Well, uh, it, yeah, yeah but this whole, this whole, this whole, this whole game... You can't you can't, yeah, well, well and, and now it's almost, uh, yeah, the whole thing about we, we should be asking ourselves if... No one's asking if, but we're just asking how. And I, and I, get, I get that we probably shouldn't, but that's, be, uh, that's the besides point. And uh, what Which, I hope that... For the record, while we're still recording, yeah. in the event that Alexander Villasenor winds up getting us all killed, we want this, this to be the record. As, uh, I, I object. This is how we got here. I object. <laughs> yeah, no, it is very possible that um, after genetic, I, I put this book together, it will, it'll, it'll be a whimper. Bottleneck. This is you know? how it started. Maybe maybe it's gonna be like oh nothing in there's new nothing in there is like mm-hmm. like whatever and that's okay but but it's enough that I have to write it down I've always wanted to write it down in a book that but that's that's decide. the general I think it's awesome thing so good flow I like it. I gotta I gotta work out the end towards the end because I think I started getting like really I need to refine this third thing to a, to a better I think, um, order I think like you yeah. this so this part you're talking about the stuff that we have now. I think build, start what you it. can do is add in like your speculation. What do you, what what would you expect also? Because yeah. you you can conclude it with well, I would expect this out of AI. The, 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 Turing, the Turing test that I would design would be this. If you've tried the VR headset, um, there's uh, games that are social games uh, that you can go in and you can see other people in VR. My goal would be uh, one day to go into these kind of like uh, realms and for you not to know if it was uh, an AI or <laughs> another person. I didn't say. I, 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 if, 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 if I could do that, then that would yeah. be a better Turing test. That if if, if mm-hmm. you could not tell if if the other person in that VR space was a human behind that, 
or if it was uh, AI, and, 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 you, and no matter how long you talk to them, no matter how long you talk to them. Oh, oh one of the reasons why Talent I would want to do this. Talk to, v, to AI in virtual reality. Um, trying to do other things too. One of the one of the side benefits I think I want to have through all of this is <laughs> assisting people with um, emotional relationships. Because we're we're kind of like fucked up in the sense that we're all isolated more now than we have ever had before, and there's like a big need for. And I know that it's probably healthier to meet in real life and just like make real friends, but uh, maybe going forward, uh, software will end up filling in the gap that we have from this artificial honeycomb. Well, as because we're so disconnected from families like we used to be, well, and, it, and from people where they used that, to be, that, that and brings, there's this hunger of connection and need. That I think brings that brings up some other questions because then the question is, what are the potential, like abuses? No, not abuses, but therapeutic uses oh. of AI and VR. Well, well, well the, what the downside is if you can like if you can satisfy yourself emotionally, think about how much more fractured the, the the relationships are going to be between people. That's the downside with it, I think. Well, well, then what's the upside? What's the opposite? What's the well, opposite well, so, side? Well, because of- yeah, because the opposite side, the upside would be this: uh, you could potentially, and I'm not sure if it's a good argument, but you could make this argument that people might be happier. Because look at it like this: we already have something like that. People have pets that they okay, basically like like a pet. Uh, a pet's a better, much cheaper, better way. But it poops and pees. yeah, yeah. Well, 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 well but I mean, the, the emotional satisfaction you get. It's something that we don't have anything in technology that can do that. My thing, if I can make it, I, I could have a, a, a yeah, like a Tamagotchi. Uh, exactly. Yeah. But, like, but, but something that with the intention of like, trying to get you to your most optimal mental state. Whether it needs to give you reinforcement, whether it needs to give you motivation, whether it needs to give you on track, whether it needs to give you slack. The kind of mot- uh, emotional thing that it will make it probably one of the most addicting, if it worked well, products ever because if you had something that understood emotional, the like human body more than anything, and its goal was to try to get you in your optimal state, people would be addicted to that as like, like they would be addicted to their therapist or they would be for a dog or whatever. Because uh, it would be tailored made to he- tell the person exactly what it is that it thinks that it needs to do to live an optimal version of that so whatever than person. A service animal. It's a service AI program. Yes, and then that would sell for a lot. It's the same thing as the movie Her, the operating system, being like an artificial intelligence where people purchase it and the the intelligence starts at a baseline template and the longer it gets to know you, the more it starts adapting to liking the things you like, uh, speaking the way you like spoken to. If it needs something that, if you need something to mistreat, then it'll fulfill, it'll morph itself to, to something for you to mistreat. If it needs something just to be compassionate, it will morph itself to something to be compassionate. Uh, like a ditto, uh, reflecting yeah. like the, the 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 pieces that you that it perceives that the person needs psychologically, is uh, I, one of the primary things that I would want to build it uh, uh, as a product. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the recording. Yeah, we're good. Yeah.